Hi everyone, um, I've just been asked by, um, is it the uh, Lolly R5, well it's L-O-L-L-Y-A-H-5, uh, do you have a tutorial on the feather picks? I can't remember if I've done one sweetheart, I've done, uh, I think it's 1,700 videos and I really can't remember if I've done one. I think I've just topped that today, so I'm going to do them for you now. You need some very, very thin garden wire, okay, to start with. I'm going to take a couple of these out, okay, uh, and then um, I'm going to take some of these as well. These are the, uh, it's a, quite a bit thick, I don't know what gauge it is at all, sorry. Um, but then what you need is some feathers. Now, these are like the ordinary feathers, you know, like that. And you need a couple different lengths. Just pin them together like that, because it depends how many you're actually after for what you need. And then what you do is you put your wire in the middle and twist it on one end. Like that, and twist it right round, so you're pinning them together. Hope you can see this. And twist the other one the other way. Like that. Um, and then you can take your piece of wire and you bend that. And what you do is, this is how I do them, I don't know about anybody else, this is how I do them. Separate those and hook that in. Just like that. And take your pliers like that, like this, and just squeeze that together, and then what you need <coughs> is to take your garden tape, again this is just garden tape, and you start to wrap that right around, like that. And just keep going till you've gone down like that. You keep that at a slant and then twist that, it wraps it around the stem for you. Then you can cut them off wherever you need to. Where's my pliers here? Okay, like that. This can just undo. There's your pick. You can do it with beads, it's exactly the same with beads. Very quick and very easy to do. So I'm just going to unravel this a minute. Right. If I wanted to do, just say I wanted to do a little uh, bead spray, you do the exact same thing. Oh, sorry, wrong bead. <laughs> I haven't got a, a hole in that one, sorry. Mm, we'll do this one. See, like this one, if you want to do a bead spray, take your thin wire, thread that through the bead. When you can see the hole, that is. Okay, like that. Twist that. Pop another one on. Lay it so far down, about half an inch. And then twist that. Take the other one. Again, about half an inch. Oh, Trace is here. Did you turn off the thing? I'm trying to bring it in, I'm trying to bring it in. I think that's it. Just tell her I'm taping. And you just do that and keep continuing to do that. And then again, take your paper. Um, and then you can just wrap it around all the way. 
Alright. Take it back through. And you more or less do the same thing. Obviously if you've got white wire you don't need to do that. But, you know, we'll just... This wire is not quite as... Um, see, like that. Not quite as um, strong as it should be. But that's how you can do those. Again, take your wire. Take several of your feathers. And... Like that, in the middle, wrap that round really tight, back round the other way. When you get used to making them, they're quite fast, so you know you can do them quite fast. Hook that over, make sure you leave enough of that end, hook that onto your feathers, flatten it with your pliers. You could actually turn that around there, that doesn't matter. You need to flatten that down. Take hold of your tape. And from the very top, that's where you need to do it from there. And then what you do is, you just thread that down. Take it in one hand, on, in the right hand, or whichever handed you are, it doesn't matter. Slant this across and then just spin. Okay, and then snip wherever you want it. And there you go. That's how you do your, gar uh, your garden picks. I was going to say then. That's how you do your picks, your feather picks. They're very easy to make, very easy. Um, and they look great in your projects. So there you go. Just a quick tip on how to do those. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.